just fired up my uh, dust collection system with a uh, Big Finds dust collection separator, uh, which is uh, that right there. I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, dust collectors of five horsepower Torret, uh, 15 to 2500 CFM, depending on the static pressure. Uh, right now that's just dumping into a 55 gallon drum. I'm gonna replace that drum with a four by four by five foot high box that will be uh, about eight barrels worth, eight 55 gallon drums worth of chip. Um, so what, what I'm doing right now is, uh, right now I'm pulling air off my double planer right there. That's got two six inch lines that dump into an eight inch feeder that goes into the main eight inch trunk. And that goes into the cyclone and it comes out of the cyclone and comes down into this box. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, I've got an inlet muffler and an exhaust muffler. It's ex very, very quiet. Um, I haven't checked any kind of sound readings, but you could hold a normal conversation with this thing running. I've got four uh, 110 uh, square foot pleated filters. I got them through Oneida. Um, so it's about a thousand bucks for those four filters. A total of 440 square feet, which gives me about a five to one air to cloth ratio, which is about double what you typically design for, which is 10 to one air to cloth ratio. So it goes into the cyclone. It comes out of the cyclone uh, at 10 inch with the, uh, the exhaust muffler and then it drops down into this box and what I'm doing differently with this design here is is you want to slow the air down as much as possible to get the fines to drop out. Uh, you can see my four filters right there. I got two in front and two in back. But the air comes down into this inlet chute and in that duct, let's say I'm at about 2,000 lineal feet a minute speed uh, when it hits this box, it drops down to about 500 feet a minute. And then it comes down into this box and it's got to change direction and then go vertical. And this box in this area is four foot square, which is 16 square feet, which should slow it down to around 150 feet a minute. And that's what you shoot for, for fines to drop out of the airstream. And my goal is to keep the fine dust like off my time saver, which a certain amount of that, as everybody knows, bypasses your cyclone. Uh, even though a Torx is very efficient, probably one of the best designed efficient cyclones you can buy, uh, I think you still get a certain amount of fines that bypass. So once the air changes direction and it goes vertical, and then what they call that is interstitial or interstitial velocity or can velocity, C-A-N, uh, and, and can velocity is the velocity just basically in this instance, the, 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 or that whole square area, in a typical reverse pulse jet dust collector in most uh, industrial applications, these filters are on the inside and you got to clean air plant them. And then you have to have enough room around the filters to get enough square feet to reduce the airflow down to 150 feet a minute vertically. That's called uh, interstitial velocity. But just in this big area, that would be called CAN, C-A-N velocity. Anyway, enough of that. So we're gonna see if that works. And then basically this hopper uh, just has two 10 inch uh, discharges down into two fiber drums. So um, that's it so far. Uh, pretty excited to run some wood through my time saver and see how well this works. Um, I can zoom in here a little bit and you can see my pleated filters. Um, I got some still pictures that I use, that I could send somebody if they wanted to see how I fasten those. Basically just cut out a round top. I got some J clips up there to hold the top on. Um, and that's about it.